Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem, The Seven Siblings, and if you ain't ROM hacked by Warpath, I'm your host, Pondon, and last time we died, and this time we're recruiting the Mage Knight, so I haven't changed my strategy too much. Um, basically, I just used, I just made sure that Steel Bow perfectly one-hit Sarah at full health, so nothing I could have done there. I lured the Steel Bow guy over with Weston, as you can see on the screen there, and the other cap, and the other, um, the other scout I lured up with um, with Sarah, which then Emily, the mage knight these riders are chasing, was able to roast her. So let's see what she says. Ariana, thank heavens. I've never been happier to see you in my life. No time to explain right now. I need to stop these riders. Agreed. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, we don't get to recruit her? Weak. Weak game. Let's see. Can Scotty Boy talk to her? Maybe after. Let's see. Well, anyway, we'll get West and the best in on this. Let's see. All right, we got some. We have some room here. Let's bring her down. I really need to get Ariana an Iron Bow. She's a little too slow right now at the Steel Bow, which is something that I've come to notice. Let's see. Here we go. Sammy has still like not hit anything with the horse slayer. I mean, this game is this it's just tough for her, man. She's having a really tough time. Boom. All right. Michelle's fun though. Michelle's a good unit. At least she feels pretty decent. I mean, female merm guys, can you go wrong? This game is very much about the one round. Is is how I feel. It's very one one round oriented, which is not bad. Um, it does make me, it does give me a false sense of security a lot of the time, though, I will say. Let's see, I should, do I just go for it? Yes, do it. Yeah, get out of here, Troubadoubador. Alright. It's gonna get a little dicey down here, but we're, we're just going in with Scott. Now, my riders, come out, pincer attack, don't let them escape. Oh, okay. I mean, there was fair warning at the start, so I won't complain. Come on, hit one of the horse slayers. No, you haven't hit a single thing this whole run, Sammy. This is terrible. Oh, God. Cavs. The forest cavaliers, man. Because they're charging at me hard. Holy heck, Reno. Heck, Cavaliers. I gotta, like, take up a better defensive position right now. Alright. The children are in danger. But no matter. Weston will come in to save the day. Less than the best unit I have, I think. We'll take Keegan up here. Is there anything I need to steal? That would be good to know. Steal, though. Oh, I gotta steal stuff from the boss, but I can do that later. Good old Murray. All right. In the interim, can Sammy hit something? No. <laughs> All right. Maybe that'll help. Doubt it. Let's see. Get one shot, kid. All right. Okay. Skill and speed. You're going to heal up this turn. With a vulnerary. You're gonna hide in the forest, Andrew. So you, Scott. Let's see. Does any of these guys have long range stuff? Steel Lance, dude. I, um, you're probably the scariest in honesty, so let's go to you. Alright. Let's see how this goes for us. We're using terrain, except for Sammy, because she's an armor knight, and she can obviously never die. All right, hatchet broke. We're back to the Iron Axe. That's fine. Let's see what happens. While this is going on, 
I want to go check on my espresso. Nice crit, Andrew. Be right back. What do we got? What do we got? Luck. Gotta love luck. She does have very low luck, which I guess is like a fine way to like make her not as good. But even still, like at this point of the game, Michelle's pretty solid. I think she'll fall off though, in all honesty. She doesn't strike me as a long term unit. Will, however. Let's go, Will. Alright, Espresso's done, guys. Ooh boy, is that nice. Oh, that's a nice level up too. Will is just roasty toasting everyone. Alright. Alright, this this pincer attack was kinda neutralized by just how buff I am. Alright. Let's see. Now I don't know if I need to talk to her with anyone else. But I might do that. Alright, things are about to get a little dicey here. Let's um Hit this? Finally, Sammy. Okay, we'll do a little bit of cleanup. Oh, shit. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're gonna go hatchet style. The, the vulnerary, just to be safe here. Do a little vulnerary on you too. Although you should be fine on the mountain. You're at full health, so you're gonna go with the iron sword? Actually, let's just do the rapier. Yeah, take that. Katie's gotcha. Alright. Can Andrew flip over to this other forest? He can. Let's see. Let's just get rid of this guy. Alright. Sammy, I'm a little worried about here, honestly. With all these axe dudes on it. This could get a little dicey for her. But let's, um... Let's see. In the meantime, let's head down. Let's head down to meet our other pals. Alright. I feel like the children are protected now. Let's see what happens. Sammy! Don't die on me, Sammy. No, I think they're gonna go for the... Even the enemies have female Myrmidon bias. It's so good. The AI knows. Okay, let's gift wrapping those ones with Andrew. Okay. She doesn't get doubled with the horse layer. That's pretty impressive. Oh, uh, uh, Sammy. Sammy. Oof. No damage anyway. Sammy, no damage. Nice, no damage. The tanks. Those tanks! Let's see, this is the, the moment of truth here. Oh man, she did it. She did it, guys. Sammy, the MVP. Absolute MVP. Even though she can't hit, she can sure take him. So, now then, let's move you up. And do you have anything to heal yourself with? You do. We're gonna give you the Iron Lens now, and you're gonna Elixir. All of their effort for naught. Alright, now, what do I do here? Let's, um, Whamshear. Sham and the women. All right. Sham wow. All right. And boop. All right. Oof. Andrew. What would Wondrous Joe say to that level up? Man, I'm really stoked to play as Joe. So stoked to play as Joe. All right. Let's go here because you're the one I want to get rid of. But I can't kill you, which is kind of a drag, so let's do this instead. Hatchet. Getting ratchet with the hatchet. Now, over here, let's just keep moving down. Oh, this guy's coming in. He's coming in. He wants it. Keegan, this is your time, bud. Send Will down straight, because Will just wants to get into the fray. Sarah. We can put Sarah over here with the axe reaver. The Use, use our reaver weapons we got. 
Let's see. Slowly but surely. Ooh, going at range? Nah, you can't hit the merm on the mountain. I gotta say, I love the, the use of terrain. Love using terrain. I will say as a general map making tip, thickets you should probably use more sparingly than this. Like they should never thickets should never be the edge of anything. They should always be like in a cluster of force. Like that one I think is okay. Uh, or like this one maybe, but like it should never be like thicket and then open on their sides. It just looks a little weird. Um, I don't think Vanilla ever does this. I would definitely prefer to have Vanilla use his thickets to get a good sense of it. Let's see, Sarah with the Axe Reaver. All right, let's go. What do we got? Bulk. I'll take bulk. Nope. Nope, okay, let's see. Can Sam this is Sammy's, Sammy's Redemption. Sammy. Boom. Boom. All right. And who's going to get this one? You're at level 13, level 11, level 12. You're getting this one. Yeah, you're just going to have to use the rapier. All right. Oh man. So like you compare these two units, right? And it's like why would I use Michelle more long term? Like right now Michelle's the best option I have. So I'm gonna use her. But more holistically, the fencer, at least in vanilla FE eight, is basically the Myrmidon that can use rapiers and that promotes and gets a horse. It can use the Wodow, it can use the Shamshir. So there's less I don't know, the Myrmidon kind of loses some of its luster, I would say. So just something to be cognizant of is, like, class differentiation. And I mean, I'm big on, like, I think class is kind of just a construct to define, like, how a unit performs. But, like, when there are certain things that, like, like, a Myrmidon, like, Myrmidon versus Mercenary, it's, like, a classic debate, but, like, Mercs can use axes when they promote, and Swordmasters get crit and special swords, so it's, like, it's kind of even in some ways, or at least like, they're distinct. But like the Fencer and the Swordmaster, or the Fencer and the Myrmidon, they're so similar. They are so, so similar. So it's hard for me to discern what tangible benefits the Swordmaster would get over the Fencer. I mean, yeah, you get the, you get crit, but does crit stand up to a mount and the rapier? Hmm. It's a little bit tighter there, I would say. I mean, you probably saw people are saying, like, laxes are freaking better. Like, I'd rather use a Merc than a Merm. Yeah, but... I don't know. But these guys also fill a very similar role. I mean, look at their stats, right? Like, they're super similar. And she's one-hitting all these dudes. Let's see, is there anything to steal off you? Stuff to steal? No, you can just... Mend this. That's my edgy quote of the day. Yeah. That's right. Should have written like an early 2000s action movie with the quotes like that. Alright. We got these two coming in. I gotta watch out because this guy could probably bork me. Go Yavelin. Will over here with... Ooh, let's get, let's get Will on the Thunder Tomes right now. Heal up Weston. The rest of this group's gonna come in. I have to make sure that um, Okig can get in on there, so I'm gonna drop him. Oh, the boss moves, holy heck. It moved so fast it moved my screen. Hello, cursor. The pincer failed? How could this be? I guess it's up to me. Your tactics were nothing. Uh oh. That's fine. The bulky healer. Whoa, why are you doing this game? Alright. Let's keep moving. Alright. Well, I guess I have to kill the boss now. Oh, an iron bow. Just in time. Let's see. Thunder. Okay. Maybe I should actually try and calculate shit. What do you have? 
Yeah. Oh, he has an Iron Blade and a Killer Lancer. I gotta be really careful. Alright, this should be fine. You can do it. Can you do anything here? You can try. Ooh, now she hits. Sammy. Sammy the Whammy. Let's go. Alright. Level 10. What do we got? Some skill. You definitely need that. That's a nice level up for you. And then Weston. Weston can come in and clean up. Might have to be Weston. Actually... Do I want to give it to Michelle? No, I want it to be Weston. Actually, let's do this first. Do some chip. Get some chip on Ariana. She's she's falling behind hard right now, man. She's falling behind. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Well, let's try Weston. The Beston. No, I can't fall. Oh, you can, buddy. You can. Weston, level 15. Do we promote him, guys? Do we promote him? Look at that level up. Woo, those riders were no joke. Their commander was strong, had good tactics, but without him, look at the rest of the force disintegrated easily. They're just freaking melted. Yes, you have no idea how to thank Glenn to see all of you. The past 24 hours have been a living nightmare. It's good to see familiar faces. Emily, how fair is the city? Joe and Jeremiah went ahead to try and restore some order for evacuation. It seems you've been evacuating civilians on your own. Where are your fellow mages? They nearly died in the surprise attack last night. I'm the sole council member left, and the leader is near of a nearly extinct group. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Emily. That's that's unbelievable. Yes, I'm barely holding it together, but I must continue to fight. Although, if it weren't for Scott's family here, I would be among the deceased brethren. Wait, what? You saw my family? Which ones? Are they safe? Which ones? Yeah, he has such a big family. Holy shit. Uh, they were the ones who kept me safe, Scott. Your mother and the twins came looking for your sister, Christia, during the attack. But stayed and fought off the Death Squad, massacring my people. A little typo there. It should be massacring. There should be an R between the, uh, the C and the E there. Easy to miss. My people. I owe them my life. Damn. I told you they were the best. Nance is the best. Wow, what a relief. Where are they now, Em? We joined forces to evacuate the district surrounding the academy. There is a secret exit, a tunnel out of the school that pops out into these woodlands. We were about to leave the final group out when this family came and begged me to accompany them deeper into the capital to help them escort their injured daughter, who could barely walk. I went alone. While your family led the last group out and joined the other civilians, we were, were to rendezvous in the hills to the north. I didn't plan for a second advance force, though. Emily, you fought bravely and saved many lives when the entire... City was falling apart. You've done everything you possibly could in impossible circumstances. Ariana, thank you for your kind words and for rescuing me. You've been doing great, Em. Hang in there. So what's up next? The advance force has been routed, but it was a tiny fraction of the main army, which is bearing down on us. There's no time to lose. Joe likely needs more help to escort his evac group away from the city. While the group, my family, is with needs to join up with us or be reinforced. My mom, Luke, Sarah, and Chris are capable, but they're sitting ducks with civilians in the hills. They won't be able to move quickly enough. Uh, our force is small enough as is. We can't afford to split it any further. Might I suggest that we send a small, strong party ahead to meet your family who can lead them to a rendezvous with Joe's larger force? They have to move fast, but then he left the two groups to join before Rene Arm even sniffs us. An excellent plan as always, Emily. Could you lead the advance party since you know the rendezvous point? Yes, of course. Scott, I'm assuming you want to be part of this group to help your family. You'd better believe it, so that my other siblings are with us as well. They'll want to come also. They're all in good fight and able to travel quickly. Looks like our advance party then. Scott, you gather your family on form everyone else. No time to lose. You're safe now. Wah! I was so scared, so very scared. Thank you. You saved us all. If you would please take this. One of the soldiers dropped it. Thank you again. Longbow! Heck yeah. Alright. So that was chapter 6. Riders of Rene. What do I want to say about this chapter? It's a lot of terrain. It's a little big. Conceptually, I like it. I like... You know, fat moving enemies that move quickly. I like the idea of pincer attack. The density did make it a little bit of like stay put in the mountains and just kind of like wait because they aren't really that strong, but I could easily be overwhelmed. So I think there's definitely just like a little bit of balancing that needs to be done to kind of create a more consistent flow. It was a little more like get to the mountains, sit in the terrain, and then whittle them down. Uh, so. That was really the only the only real complaint I had. I think just want to make sure you tighten up the forest and thicket tiles a little bit. Um, you probably don't need so many. You can probably do the same thing in less space as well. It's a, it's a little big, in my humble opinion. Um, other than that, man, I think like, conceptually it was cool. I like the rush to defend 
um, Emily, because you have to rush there. Like, you're given plenty of time and resources to do so, which is fine, but you have to rush there. Like, you need to send, you need to split your forces to go that way, or else you'll be screwed, which I like. I like stuff like that. So, nice job on the anti turtle incentive on this map. Um, again, I think can make it a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, a little less dense, and I think you'll have a great experience. So, anyway, guys, my name is Panda. Thank you again for watching. This is Chapter 6, Riders of Renee. Next time, join me for Chapter 7. Ooh, 6X. Another guide and secret guide in Darkness Descends. All right, guys, see you later.